The Book of the Future. I passed my test! Oh, and guess what? The professor said that soon we're probably going to have a new subject. Try to guess what it is. As long as it's not wizard genealogy, talk about boring. And not ancient incantations. They're all just really long. I always get mixed up by the end. Don't you care what it might be, Daria? I can handle any subject. It won't be a problem for me. The subject of our new class? We'll be learning how to ride magical beasts! Yes! Oh, no. <laughs> Doria, what's wrong? That is the one class that I will never, ever pass. My report card's going to be ruined. On the other hand, grades don't matter if I get kicked out of school, because I'll never be a rider. It's easier than you think. All my brothers have been riding since they were two. They're always on a horse. Soon they'll forget how to walk. <sighs> Where I come from, it's not the same, though. Wisdom landers are such terrible riders that we had to invent magic cars. Ow! The Squirrel Express. Fast and furry. I bet the immortal ordered something valuable. I'm going to follow it and find out. <clears throat> Wisdom landers just aren't meant to ride. And I'm not either. <gasps> huh? From the Central Magical Library, a book of the future on loan for the immortals' classes on magical divination and... Huh. What's a book of the future? Well, judging by the title, it might be a record of what the future holds. Let's take a look. Maybe you don't need to worry, because what if in the future... You'll be a great rider. Or maybe I will. Daria from Wisdomland, student of Wondermont School and former principal's assistant. <sighs> we'll never become a great rider. Hmm. Well, maybe this book is wrong. And also, why would you need to become a great rider? You could just be kind of good. Or, you know, not bad. Mm. Well, in any case, let's start practicing now with six paws. For this, we need a pro. I'll go get Helen. At long last, the future is mine. Now bars appear on the school's windows and doors that cannot be breached, even by a powerful magic force. Where has the book gone? Uh... <gasps> 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 hey, give that book back. We have to return it to the library. All right, Book of the Future. You better be wrong about this. <gasps> it worked. Uh, sort of. <laughs> Back. I mean, forward. <laughs> Some princess. Look at you. Where'd you learn to ride like that? <gasps> Jump! Manage the tree okay? How will you do with water? Don't be scared. It's not deep. You can do it. We have to hurry. <laughs> we won't catch her like this. Think, Daria. Oh, we have to use the stones. Okay, listen to me. Left paw forward. And march. Right, middle, back. Left, middle, left, right. Uh. Whew, done. You did a great job. Now, we'll really live it up in a palace. I'll be principal of a school of evil sorcery. Or no, the queen of all Wondermont. Hmm? I'm going to find a good place to hide so I can write our future in peace. And I'll see you before long, my golden beauty. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Dragon. I really, really need your help. I need to fly to the cliffs to save Wondermont's future from Baba Yaga. Uh, that is, if you wouldn't mind. My palace will have five. No, six rooms in it. Or ten. Only ten? More. How about a hundred? I can't decide now. What's better? I could be Queen Yaga. Or the Magnificent Empress. Of Wondermont! <laughs> oh, oh, you will never be an empress! <gasps> ah! Come back this instant, I command you! As Empress of Wondermont, I command you! Mr. 
you're immortal. Look what Baba Yaga wrote in there. Well done! Daria, well, you great did job, it. Daria. Daria has done very well indeed. She saved us all today. Daria, you did a wonderful job. Working with Ms. Dragon and Six Balls. But the Book of the Future said, very clearly in fact, that I'll never be a great rider. The future hasn't happened yet. That's why it's the future. And we can shape it however we choose. The book changes as we do so. Daria from Wisdom Land will be a great rider and will get along with all manner of magical beasts. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I've still got this. Uh, oh, that book's just fairy tales. <laughs> A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsea Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No, not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Rooney, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go! <laughs> the weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not, uh, the best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsy Day. Wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a, a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! We'll catch you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. It's my package. It really worked. You wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Oh, grab it! It's getting away! Wow! Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it! It's getting away! You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney! Invisible lock, shut tight! Wow! How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go. Right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once! Uh, Professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still! Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop! Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still! <gasps> oh, wow! Now it's your turn. Ready, go! Stop still! Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. 
Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! So, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting! <laughs> oh, my! The tiger is simply wonderful! I have something to show you, too! Vasco, toss me an apple! <gasps> <gasps> That's my package! That's mine! It's yours! <laughs> Come and take it if you can! You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> Here comes my heroic move in action! Here comes the unstoppable snowman! Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney! It was great! I'm getting a package soon, too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the go. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> Come on. The Defenders. I feel so sleepy. You are the one who suggested we play longer. We could be sleeping right now, Dorma. We'll be in trouble if we get caught. I've received some dreadful news, Shh. Professor. There's been a disaster. The school run by my British colleague, Merlin, has suddenly vanished. <gasps> How awful. I hope the same thing doesn't happen to our school. I wouldn't be so sure, Professor. They are due to arrive at midnight. Let's greet them properly. What was that about? Don't you know? A terrible disaster befell another school. It's going to come here at midnight and attack our school. Oh, dear. How frightening. Mr. Immortal and the Professor will stop them. What if the monsters tricked them somehow? They could sneak inside. What a terrible time for Marlene to be away. This is our school, too. We must do our part to defend it, no matter what comes our way. <clears throat> All right, girls. Does anyone have any ideas? I do. As soon as they get here, I'll show them. <laughs> Absolutely not. We don't know anything about them. Whoever they are, rushing in headfirst is too dangerous. What if they're twice your size? Uh, what if Lisa conjured a pond on the front steps? Hmm. So they'll go away to avoid getting their feet wet? So that Helen can freeze it. <laughs> It'll be slippery. Then they'll fall. Good idea, Dorma. That'll throw them off balance and buy us some time. <laughs> then when they see our knights, they'll be frightened and run away. Sounds good, Daria. But I don't believe we have any knights to help us. Do we? I don't remember Wondermont having a knight delivery service. Delivery in 30 minutes or your money back. <laughs> Actually, I've been reading some of next year's textbooks. It's no big deal. Only six in all. And I learned a very interesting spell from one of them. First of all, we must defend the most vulnerable parts of the school. That means the windows, the doors, and we need a sentry. But the most important thing is my magic spell. With these necklaces, we can bring the bears to life, and they will be our knights. It's already midnight. Be ready for anything. We're almost done here. <gasps> They're here! Look, I'll bet that the small one is in charge, and the tall guy is the dumb one, like in fairy tales. Girls, let's go. Lisa, go ahead. No idea what a slippery slope is in store for them. <laughs> Helen, it's your turn. <laughs> we did it! <sighs> oh no, it failed. The 
They must be powerful magicians. Don't worry, we're powerful as well. Time to raise the bars. Living Hedge from underground, to the invaders where they're found. I don't understand what is happening. What's going on? I wish I had an answer. Something seems to be going wrong with the school. It appears that someone is trying to keep us out. The princesses could be in danger. Princesses? Like damsels? In danger. So you mean... in distress? I'll save you! We'll save you! Wait! Ugh. Ugh. Yes! A lot stronger than I expected. Let's hold hands. Time for the life-giving spell. And no matter what, we must not stop chanting. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please What's that sound? Go! Oh. Oh, Mr. Immortal, sir! Please defend the school tonight. Come on, Vasco! This is our chance to be heroes! Oh, brave warrior, show your might! You'd better surrender, sir! We can't be responsible for our actions! Professor, it seems that I have found a way to fight these bears! Simply tickle them! Oh, brave warrior, show your might! Professor? Uh. Mr. Immortal? <sighs> Who are those boys? Get your hands off our school! <laughs> you see, Professor, we thought someone was attacking the school. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, allow me to introduce you to Vasco... Hi there. ...and Livon. Good evening. They were students at Merlin's Academy. But one of the students brought the school building to life. <gasps> and it ran off. So the boys have transferred here. That explains it. And we mistook them for wicked magicians. <laughs> <laughs> now I see. So you protected the school. Well done. But you eavesdropped on our conversation. That's not good. And now, it's time for bed. Tomorrow, we'll start a new chapter in our life at school. Oh. Flotation fever. It seems poor Dorma has caught a cold. See here? She's running a high fever. Will she be okay? She will be fine, Helen. It's only a fever. All she needs is some rest. However, it may affect Dorma's magical power. There is a possibility that her dreams could become real. Then let's monitor her. We'll take turns. And if something happens, we'll wake her. That way the dream will stop. All right, then. I'll go first. Thank you, Helen. Well, then, let us go. Very good. Now, should you see anything strange, please gently wake Dorma. Rooney, it's your turn. Oh, it's such a nice day today. I wish it was raining. Then I wouldn't mind being stuck indoors so much. Huh, fine then. Oh dear. Don't worry, Dorma. I'll go and get my ball fast as I can. And be right back, promise. <laughs> It's so hot here. Strange. Oh no, Teddy! You poor thing, you must be so hot. Hold on, I'll help you get out of there. Oh. Oh. oh, thank goodness. I never knew that I could do such a thing, Teddy. The girls will certainly be surprised when I show them. Let's clear the floor before it burns. Lisa's mirror! I shouldn't have left Dorma alone! 
What have I done? It's so hot. <sighs> Let's take everything outside where it's cooler. The weather is beautiful today. <gasps> Isn't it? Rooney wanted to be here, but she stayed with Dorma instead. She's such a good friend. She's so loyal and trustworthy. What is she dreaming about? Dorma! Dorma, come back! <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> What have I done? This is awful! Somewhere safe first, and then we can wake her. I have an idea. Good thinking, Helen. Be careful. Don't accidentally wake her. Helen, do you think you can help me up there? Maybe if I steer the bed, we can get it through the window. You've got it. Brilliant. Be careful. Okay? Quiet. <gasps> oh, oh no! <sighs> it's snowing. It's so nice and cool. Dorma, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Dorma, you're awake! Oh. Helen, look out! <gasps> what happened here? Dorma's awake. Dorma, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I was such a bad friend. I left you all alone. It's okay, Rooney. I was having such an amazing dream. I could move things through the air with my mind. Oh, I know. You moved all of our stuff outside. <gasps> did I really do that? You certainly did. And now Rooney is going to fix it by going outside and cleaning everything up. Oh, no! <laughs> Forget me not. Oh. How's that? Oh. Oh. Archie, no flying. That's cheating. Rooney, are you there? Did you forget about the exam? Hm. I'm coming. What a pain. Oh, great. Our game's ruined. You too? I was going to study later anyway. It's just on magical trees. How hard could it be? Oh, that's the book? Magical Trees, an introductory course. Eternal apple trees. They always bear fruit. Ah, oh, candy trees. Tree of knowledge. Oh, dear. Right. What else does it say? The forget-me-nut. 
an endangered species with small blue flowers. Huh, that's funny. I saw some blue flowers today. Does that mean we have one of these trees? The nut improves memory and makes it possible to store massive amounts of knowledge. Of knowledge! Archie, that's exactly what we need! I could memorize everything. Now, where's that nut? It's my only hope! For sure. Only one nut falls every hundred years. Therefore, it is extremely important as a counter to the forgetfulness spell. Hmm. No fair. I found the nut. So, one hundred years or not, it's mine. Most trouble will fly in if I don't get lunch ready soon. But what for dessert? Oh, walnut pie. That's what I'll make. Well, what about raspberries? Oh, no. Walnuts are perfect. Vitamins, micronutrients. Want to help? The magic one has to be here. Walnuts all empty? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, no matter. Raspberry it is. Archie, are you still mad at me? It's just, I have to pass that exam, no matter what. It's the immortal's favorite subject. Anyway, you can't memorize that book in just one night. I know. I'm doomed. Good, Daria. Perfect. Now, who's next? You can do it, Rooney. Don't be afraid. Uh. <laughs> it's the forget-me-not. Princess Rooney, is something the matter? Aren't you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. The forget-me-not is a tree with pale blue flowers. It blooms year-round. Its fruit helps you memorize things. Rooney, excuse me. Ah, a very rare occurrence. And it just happens to match your topic. So let's continue this exam outside, shall we? But sadly, only one nut grows every hundred years, so it's very rare. Excellent, Rooney. You've earned a top grade all around. That 100-year wait is now over. Ta-da! Oh! <gasps> Enter. What is it? Mr. Immortal, I have to confess. I tricked you. The nut you've got is not the magic one. I ate the magic one because I wanted an A, but it didn't work. Rooney, I'm very glad that you found the courage to confess. I'm proud of you. Well done. But that nut is gone. No. How? This nut isn't the magic one. How could it show up in the tree again? Archie has returned the nut. Hooray! Archie, save the nut! From me. Mr. Immortal, I promise I will never do this again. Can I retake the exam? <laughs> of course, but no shortcuts this time. 
<laughs> Time out for Daria. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Does the green one suit me? You should stick to softer colors. Light blue, cream. They're very stylish and will look better on you. Please be quiet. It's impossible to concentrate. Oh, do you expect us to whisper now? Give me a break, Daria. You asked, so we're all trying to be quiet. Hey, girls. I had such a funny dream. <laughs> Please stop it, if you don't mind. Oh no! What happened? Did I do this? <gasps> this must mean that I really do have powers. Hooray! Oh, okay, okay. Unfreeze. <gasps> Wake up now. Come back to life. Now move. What should I do? Ah, oh, I've got to get help! <laughs> Hi, Marlene! Daria, why are you running? To find help! Ah, oh, Marlene! Thank goodness you're back already! Daria, what is it? You seem worried. Are you all right? Oh, yes, you see. It's all because I've discovered a new power! You have? That's wonderful! Show me! Not yet. It's not that simple. The girls were making so much noise. Going back and forth, back and forth. So I told them to stop it. And they froze. Now I can't fix it. I don't know how. Wait a second. I didn't understand that. Back and forth where? Look. I would have made them more comfortable if I had known. How can we undo it? If you've the power to make it happen, you've the power to reverse it. Come with me. There's something I want to tell you. But we can't just leave them. The girls are going to be just fine. But you need to calm yourself down. Just hold on a little longer. I'll be back soon. Professor, don't you find it a bit strange that it's so quiet? Hmm. The girls are studying. No need to worry. Although, I do agree, it is a little odd. Oh? Huh? It seems you were spot on, Mr. Immortal. <laughs> I know, they're playing a joke on us. It's not a joke, Professor. And I don't see Daria. Where is she? Daria? Hmm. Daria may be in danger. We need to find her immediately. Of course, sir. But shouldn't we free the girls first? We cannot interfere with magic whose nature we do not yet understand. Come with me, Professor. Sorry, girls. Be back soon. You're an excellent student and you work hard. But the magic you were born with hasn't revealed itself yet. And therefore, you're worried. Is it that obvious? It's all right. We all go through it. This might turn out to be a stroke of luck. Some unexpected stress has activated your power. So stress activates my power? But does that mean I can only use magic when I'm stressed? No. Stress just helped activate your magic. Now it's up to you to learn how best to control it. Mr. Immortal, I think I know who's behind this. Hmm. Do you think so? It's Baba Yaga. She froze the girls, and she stole Daria. Come on. And like you, I studied at a school of magic. And just like you, I didn't know what my magic was. Then, one day on a walk, I ran into a number of snakes. Oh, I'm afraid of snakes. Me too. I was terrified. And because of that, I shot up into the air. And that's how I learned I could fly. <laughs> Wait, Mr. Immortal, look! Over there! Why, that's only Marlene! What's the concern? It's Baba Yaga disguised as Marlene! Our Marlene is on vacation! But how did you manage to get down? At first, I couldn't. I hovered about for a long time, but I calmed myself down, relaxed, and it worked. That is the secret. Hurry! Grab her, Professor! No. I've got you! Professor, what is wrong with you? You won't get away! <laughs> Daria, are you all right? I don't understand what's gotten into the professor. Oh. To be one of our best. Teach us. Oh. Professor, I'll cut off her escape. Oh. What are you doing? Stop. <gasps> Seriously? It activated again? Marlene said I needed to calm down. Activate. No, that's silly. <sighs> All right, stop. Shh. Really? It's so easy. That's all I had to do? Daria, you did it! Thank you, Marlene. I have to get to the girls. 
Uh, sorry, Professor, but you said Marlene was on vacation, yes? Yes, Marlene. Why are you here? I was missing the school so much, I decided to come back early. Our apologies, Marlene. We thought you were Baba Yaga. Why? Do I look like Baba Yaga? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, I'm back. All right, stop. <laughs> Girls, do you know what happened to you? We know everything. You froze us solid, or rather, immobilized us. Made us living statues. Turned us to stone. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried you'd be mad. Of course not. We're proud of you. You're so cool. Marlene's the cool one. She can fly up the banister. Woo! Who even knew? Daria. Um... Come on, don't be shy. Show us how you do it. Do you really want to see it? All right. But let's keep it our little secret. Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long as soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, are you okay? I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland, not Wondermont. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. <laughs> The library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says we must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be snow. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's you! Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash! Hey! Wait up! Come with me to the school! Otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside! There are tiny snowflakes! Ah! Uh. I figured out what we must not do. Uh-oh. You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon. Vasco was out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather. We have to go find him quick and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. Girls wanted to summon winter for me, and they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls. Before their hearts freeze over. <laughs> Vasco! 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 I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! Vasco! I'm coming to get you. Girls, look over here. Grandma taught me how to handle hot frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. 
we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying, friends keep you warm in the cold. Huh? So, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread. Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland day? Yay! Dresses! Though you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. Aunt, that's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's give him a cup of cocoa, too. <laughs> <laughs> the Star Globe. That constellation is a giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the great astronometer's book. Then the next one is... The Big Dragon. Amazing! Dario, you have all the stars memorized. Oh, but I know which one is next. See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon, only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test results. The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score. <sighs> Whoa. Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. I'll never become an astronomer like this. <gasps> I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. <gasps> Look, girls, it's the great astronomer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, it's not a normal map, it leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronomer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? You know, shooting stars usually fall down. Even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls. I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it. Quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! Yay! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall, there are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah, oh, the mouse in the hole! It should be here! Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the mouse in the hole because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. You're shy. 
Shiny Excellence, would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Third task, go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on, we need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. <gasps> way to go, Dorma. After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Wow, it's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. Let's see, um... There's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh, flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick. <laughs> Now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the great <laughs> astronometer. A giant? So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. What if I make a mistake? <laughs> Even the very best of astronometers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the Star Globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose. And in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars, that I promise. The Great Astronometer? Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. Used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal, the well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here, a new star on the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! The Frog Stone. Don't open it yet. Let me guess what's inside. <laughs> it's Thumbelina, who is actually your secret second cousin. No, wait. It's Tom Thumb. Okay, now I'm ready to see. No tiny boys in here. I hope Levon and Vasco aren't nearby either. Here, it's my grandmother's frogstone ring. <gasps> wow, it's really beautiful. And it's magical, too. Just touch the stone and you'll turn into a frog right away. <gasps> Ribbit! Whoa. Touch it again and you'll turn back to normal. That's so cool. Traditionally, you only wear this on All Swamps Day. But now I, I have to wear it every day. Since the boys got here, I've been so nervous that I keep turning into a frog. Worse, the timing is... Ribbit? Goodness, not again. Turning into a frog is dreadful, isn't it? Big deal. So you turn into a frog. You can jump and croak and swim around. You're making a mountain out of a toadstool. I mean, molehill. You have no idea what it's like. Rooney, I can barely croak before something happens. It's so Surrender, beast, <laughs> or I'll turn you into a toad. <laughs> oh, no. The boys. I have to get out of here. Calm down. No hiding. I have a plan. Just put on your ring, and you can rib it. You'll see it's going to be fine. You don't get it at all, Rooney. Don't go, Lisa. Uh, why is everything bigger? Did I touch Lisa's ring and turn into... A frog. Look, Levon. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It has a crown on its head. Maybe it's a water sprite. So pleased to meet you. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, 
day. In El Dorado, frogs were a lot of fun. They were always racing around the ponds, while the Wondermont frogs are kind of lazy. Don't you think they look so bored? Why don't we make a race for them? Excellent idea. I'll bet on the frog with the crown. She looks like she could win. Actually, I'm a princess. And I'm probably going to beat you. Soon I'll tell Lisa that being a frog was cool. So learn from me while you can. On your mark, get set, ribbit! <laughs> One more try! Come on! I got off on the wrong foot! I want a rejump! Ribbit, 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 ribbit! Oh! Uh. How is Lisa so good at jumping? This is really uh, so hard. Uh, uh, I'm jumped out. Hmm, maybe she's better at swimming. She is a water sprite. Want to try? N no, thank you. I need to go find Lisa. You're lucky I'm out of shape. Rib by it. Rooney? Rooney? Where are you? I'm so sorry. I just got scared, that's all. Lisa! Lisa! I'm here! Right here! Nobody understands me! I croaked and croaked, but... <laughs> Welcome, dear passenger, to Wondermont Airlines. Next stop, the pond next to my hut. Hmm. Could I please have a moment to myself, uninterrupted? No wonder frogs are always hiding out in the swamp. Ah. Ah. Ha! Welcome home. It'll be crowded, but nice. My very own pond and statue. It does have a habit of breaking, but the magic is reliable. You can't run away. You'll put on frog concerts every evening. Oh, it's broken again. I expect good singing with harmonies. I won't tolerate sour notes. If I can't jump out, I'll have to fall out. All right, friends, the time has come. We're getting out of here. Jump after me. To the left, to the right. Don't just sit there. Come on, ribbit, ribbit. Huh? What is going on? Where are you going? Wait! 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 Stay with me! You can be a soloist! I'll make you a star! Careful! Look out! Hey, you! Who taught you how to fly? Oh, the flying frog! That's our frog with the crown! She's flying! Lisa! I'm coming your way! That? She nailed that landing! Let's include this in the competition. Help me! Someone! I can't swim! Oh, ribbit! Ribbit! Rooney! Hang on! <laughs> Lisa, you won't believe what happened to me. First, I almost won a real frog race. Then, I got captured and joined a frog choir. And finally, that raven who can't even fly properly. Wait a moment. I don't understand. But I understand. Being a frog is really hard. Please forgive me for not believing you. Of course I forgive you. Ribbit. Ribbit. But the boys are going to laugh at me. <sighs> I lost that race and I fell in the water. Well, let them make fun of us both. When you're with a good friend, it's not so bad. <gasps> wow, that was awesome. Can you teach us that spell, please? I want to fly on a raven and then use it like a diving board. <laughs> It's a long jump, not high. You're not a grasshopper. Boys, you need to be careful this time. It's not winning if you break something. Ready, set, go! <laughs> the letter. Try not to look down, Daria. <coughs> Lisa, you have to squat before you jump. <sighs> Okay, really. It's the yacht that's spinning, not me. Dorma, take deep breaths. It makes running easier. Professor, why do we have to take these phys ed classes anyway? Wouldn't it be better to practice our magic? Mm-hmm. Oh, but girls, you're already doing great with your magic studies. Your fitness levels are what could stand to be improved. Remember how tired you got during our hike through the Laughing Mountains? <laughs> that was no laughing matter. I think we're in great shape, Professor. <gasps> Rest, then do it one more time. <sighs> For the 
the record. I can jump, you know. At least when I turn into a frog. And why run on your own when you can have seven league boots? And balance. As if I really need to know how to walk on a beam. Anyway, getting around on a flying carpet is cooler. If only we didn't have visit. That's a great idea. Let's write to the Magical Council. They set the school program, so they should get rid of a useless class. The professor won't argue with them. Dear Magical Council, we the students Daria, Dorma, and Lisa believe that wizards don't need to run, jump, and walk on balance beams. So we ask you to cancel physical education. It's outdated. <laughs> the Squirrel Express won't be here till next weekend. We should take the letter to the Postal Oak ourselves. Are you sure we're not lost? According to the map, the Postal Oak is just past the Creaky Thicket, which is right there. <laughs> Getting rid of Fizz Ed is harder work than doing it. This is a one-time thing. We have Fizz Ed all the time. I think we go that way. <laughs> Hear that? Oh, <laughs> it's so cute! <gasps> Jumping toadstools! They're the oldest kind in the world. I've wanted to study them for so long, but the immortal said I'm not allowed in the toadstool reserve. I see why. I'd study these from afar. How do you think they got out of the reserve? <gasps> the toadstools didn't get out of the reserve. We've wandered into it. And jumping toadstools don't like visitors. They're afraid that they might get stepped on. Well, I don't think we stepped on any, did we? Just be sure not to touch them, or you'll spend all week being really itchy. Itchy? Gross! Stop still! Second to first, reverse! No, you see? Our magic doesn't work where the jumping toadstools live. That's why they're kept here in a special reserve. So what do we do now? Run! If only we had seven league boots. Remember what the professor said. Deep breaths. There's another door over there. Everything's backwards in this meadow. The toadstools go after people. And the path is soft. I wonder why that is. That's not a path. It's a swamp. We can't go this way. Look, there's the postal oak. We can walk across that log, but be very careful. <sighs> the flying carpet would be useful right about now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> can't get across with all the shaking. Yes, you can. Just don't look down, okay? Just like the professor said. Look at us! It feels like walking on solid ground. You are on solid ground. We did it! The exit's there! Uh, so, at least the toadstools didn't get us. I'm not so sure. <gasps> Remember, don't let them touch you. We'll do as the professor said. Squat before we jump. Before we jump where? Here! <gasps> I've never jumped that high! Even when I was a frog! All thanks to Fizz Ed. <laughs> yes, if it hadn't been for the professor, we'd be quite itchy. You know, my hands actually are itching to change some things in the letter we wrote. I apologize, girls. It was probably me who forgot to lock the door when I was showing Grunewald around. Tell me, if it's not a secret, what was so urgent about your letter? That you couldn't wait for the Squirrel Express to come to the school? It's not a secret, Professor. We remember every word. We ask the Distinguished Council to express our gratitude to our professor, who teaches phys ed and makes us jump and run and walk across balance beams even if we get cranky about it. His advice saved us from the jumping toadstools. <laughs> Thank you for that, girls. It's always lovely to receive praise from your students. 
Now, don't you forget, our next workout is bright and early tomorrow morning. I can't wait! Hooray! Bring it on!